Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Camo here, and holy crap, I just got around to watching uh, Prometheus. That movie, that movie was amazing, good lord. There was, there was so much, like, it, it was amazing, it, I loved watching that movie. And I've watched a few excerpts of it before I watched it, and I know there's a lot of theories going around like about what the planet was, uh, what was David's agenda being on there, um, what the engineers were doing there. there. There's a lot of theories out there, but I, I want to give away, you know, what my personal theory is. And if you all have your own theories about what exactly went down on there, on that little island, or what, you know, everything happened, you feel free to leave it in the comments below. But this is my personal theory. And do note that it is a theory, so it is probably going to be wrong, but there it goes. I believe that the the temple, the place where the head was, or the, I just let it out, the place where the head was, and all of that where they found the decapitated engineer, I believe that this the entire planet was supposed to be a temple, and I believe that the engineers worshipped the xenomorphs, the aliens from the first um, alien movies. And I believe that the the engineers found a way, or figured out this black goo that they had with them, somehow was it going to allow them to either bring back the Xenomorphs, or they were trying to get into like an enlightenment stage, but get back, I'll get back to that later. But uh, in order to bring back the Xenomorphs, they say they probably used the black goo on themselves to learn that it was, it was toxic with their bodies, that it completely exploded on whenever they come in contact with it. But, whenever one of the engineers somehow came up with the idea that they were going to make another human, or another being that had their same DNA, but with their different, a different physiology than them. So, that's why the first engineer came to the planet Earth, drank the goo, and then created us. Then the engineers had a plan that they were going to come back to Earth after we had fully evolved or whatever. And they were going to use us to bring back the Xenomorphs. Um, another thing is that they, I, they might have thought the, Xenom the Xenomorphs were their creators. And that's why they kept trying to look for them and either find them or create them. Or they believed that the Xenomorphs was like a state of enlightenment, a state of perfection. Um, what was it? One of the alien movies, one of the guys, it's been a long time since I've watched them, but one of the main characters says that these things are like the perfect predators. They are. Their beauty, they're perfect. I think it was Alien Resurrection. I can't remember. Anyway, so it could be that these engineers are trying to manipulate a way into becoming them, and that when they first tried the goo, they couldn't do it, so they created humans in order to try and find a way around, or trying to figure out a way that they could use their DNA to become them, because we have the same DNA as them. They were going to use this as like a guinea pigs in order to allow uh, them to become the Xenomorphs. I don't know, that, that was my personal theory on it. I could go into, I go on for hours on what I think about Dave, the little robot. Besides the fact that he's a manipulative asshole, but, you know, that's an entirely different story. Anyway, guys, uh, that was a short little opinion. If you all have your own, you can leave it below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. It wasn't very much. It was kind of, it was a bad game and all, but. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll probably have another one up tomorrow. Thank you all for watching, and that is it. Camo out. Thomas.